Hello everyone, it's me and I'm getting over and welcome to the Hollow's Destiny video. This feels a little, uh, yeah, it feels a little like deja vu, doesn't it? Uh, top 16 match up against yet another Thrawn Snoke. However, this time it's a little bit easier. Uh, don't need type space jump for turn one. Uh, I'll keep the Mars as fault. Yeah, don't need the quick draw, don't need the dug in. Probably don't need the logistics. Yeah, let's not take the logistics. Alright, cool. Alright, so... Uh, very similar to the previous deck, um, except this time he's running only one ritual. Uh, this guy is only running one fallback. This guy's running a lot more removal and only one boundless ambition. Um, uh, no, it just comes from the set aside. Yeah, all right. Uh, I could see how that gets mistaken. Um, but yeah, all right. So, uh, up against a Snoke Thrawn here. And um, yeah, uh, if he hits my um, action cheating, I'm going to have some significant problems. If he doesn't hit my action cheating, I'll be fine. Um, because the problem is with my action... The problem is with action cheating, uh, without action cheating, his removal will defeat me, but uh, what have I even got? I got double easy picking start, and okay, that, that can be a bit awkward, especially with this quick draw start. Uh, yeah, this might be a problem um, for those of you who are curious as to what the table and stuff looks like. This is Agent Elrond's Super Destiny mod, and here we see some of this removal already coming out. Come on, give me something good, and three indirect, perfect. Uh, Alright, there we go. Uh, yeah, this is Agent, Agent Elrond's uh, super uh, Destiny mod, and um, it's quite cool. So, uh, blank, great. Well, I'll, uh, I'll, uh, bleh. go ahead, I pass. Uh, do I have a pass button on here? I have a pass button! Yes, okay, cool. So, look, instead of the thing at the bottom here that you would press to get resource and stuff, you now have this little panel here. This little panel also tells you how many cards are in your hand and how many resources a person has. And, wow, that's that's pretty bad, but he is going to hit one of the easy pickings, which I really don't give a damn about. Uh, like, yeah, I, I really don't care about. Um, and, also, uh, anywhere on this map you play stuff uh, will spawn dice for anything of any kind at all. Uh, and these, these show the count... These show how much health someone has rather than counters. It's a pretty cool mod overall. This button would be blue and claim, but um, we uh, loaded in. I loaded in after he'd already loaded the mod up, so this one thing didn't work, and that spins the battlefield. Woo! It's it's pretty cool. All right, enough of that. Let's uh, let's let's go. Do I discard this other easy pickings? No, I think I discard the logistics instead for a reroll here. Um, I really don't care about Finn's base three there, and there's, there's a focus. I can go for another three indirect off of this. Um, which is just some good early damage. Because, um, yeah, as it stands, this uh, this guy has not rolled very well on his Thrawn. Uh, that's a two indirect and a resource. So, again, that's not great for him either. So, uh, let's focus to the three indirect. Let's just do as much damage as we can early. Um, because this guy has 23... Uh, he still has 22 health uh, to break through here. Uh, yep, let's resolve the three indirect. He's gonna force illusion that already. Okay, I'm perfectly happy with him force illusioning a three, considering this deck can do four or five damage off of its um, uh, base sides, off of its sides. All right, let's see if I get a good easy pickings. Uh, no. Ooh. Okay. So double focus there as well. So he can get his six resources this starting round. Uh, that is scary. I could claim the battlefield. Um, but I'm not going to. I'm going to long-term plan instead and steal a resource from here. Um, I could claim the battlefield to have got rid of that, but there's, that's not worth it because you can just focus the other one. Uh, so let's get out everything I want here, Mars's Vault, and then let's get ready to claim when he focuses to another two resources, potentially, or something. Um, okay, he plays the Ark. I've got one more turn if he rolls that out, if he's wanting to use the focus, so I can go ahead and shield up my Finn here. Let's let him do what he wants here. If this rolls a double disc disrupt, there is no double disrupt for it to roll, but there we go. Alright, and then I will claim. Whee! Claim and get rid of that die. So now if he wants to try something, he's got a re-roll. Uh, he has good chance for focus, of course. 
It's kind of annoying that he managed to get a vehicle out so early, whereas I got nothing, but he rolls nothing with it at all. Wow, okay. Uh, single disrupt on me. Sure, whatever. Alright. And start of the new round, and three resources for us both. Uh, discard this other easy pickings. I don't need it. Let's let's draw four. Uh, all right, there we go. There's some action cheating. Quick draw, X8, and then suppressive fire. Okay, suppressive fire. I can immediately play here. That can get rid of a double resource of Thrones. Uh, but Thrawn is now perfectly willing, perfectly able to call zero on my quick draw. Uh, but he's not going to. He's going to call one instead. He's going to hit the Duggan, uh, and I'm perfectly okay with that. I am perfectly, perfectly okay with that. And he only gets a single focus there. Um, I'm okay with not suppressive firing here. So, do I use up my entire hand? That's the question. I am um, considering that I have suppressive fire out. That is a very risky, uh, very, very risky proposition. Uh, especially since X8 does cost resources to play. Uh, Alright, let's quick draw and let's play the X8 for now. I can always play the holdout blaster on uh, Mars. If I decide I want to play a whole that blaster, because I'm going to be activating both of these characters most of the time. Let's let's be honest here. Uh, and I rolled pretty terrible, but that is a resource, so I can go ahead and play the whole that blaster for two, um, and feel safe about this, and then roll out Mars. That's a range. That's a resource. That's a shield. All right, cool. So I can go ahead. I, this is a terrible roll. Let's be honest here. Uh, but I can go ahead and take. The um, resource, well, no, because I want to maximize my efficiency here. Um, so let's instead do a one ranged and take the shield on. Uh, no, I, I need a resource. What am I talking about? I need a resource for suppressive fire in case he rolls out Snoke and gets a double focus with that. Not even getting anything is pretty good for him here because then that one, fo this one focus can focus to a double focus. You know, I can remove that two indirect if I want to. Um, but then he's just going to use the focus on the arc anyway. Um, but I can, yeah, no, I will suppressify that, and then I will take the extra resource on Finn there. Um, because what I can do here is, okay, he's got Art of War in hand, that's good to know. I was going to say, what I can do here is that if he starts doing double focus shenanigans, I can then remove the two resources with the frozen waste. So, um, let's long term plan. And this will, uh, yeah, I'm perfectly okay with that. Won't be using this Mars or Finn die, which kind of sucks, but, oh, he's going to reroll everything because he knows that that's a, a risky proposition to make. Uh, still gets absolutely nothing on this Thrawn, which is very awkward for him, so I can go ahead and keep resolving things. Uh, let's get another shield on Finn. Because Finn's the one without the, um, <laughs> Finn's the one without the whole uh, blaster. Wow, he's discarding quite a few cards here for this. Uh, discarding Art of War and Pin down now. Um, that's a disrupt, that's a focus, uh, and that's a two ranged. Alright, cool, let's, um, yeah, let's just pass. Alright, that'll, that'll let his artifact to go to three indirect if he wants, but he's not rolling well here, so, okay, two. So he gets rid of my shields, this means I can't use Finn's ability. Um, but I can keep passing until he rolls something good on this throne. All right, there we go. That's a two resource. Let's let's get rid of that right now. Um, now Snoke does do damage to his guy. Okay, he boundlesses. This is going to let him search for a vehicle and uh, do some more re-rolling for these double resources. I mean, Snoke does do damage to his character off this at least. Uh, so that is one step close to me killing. Um, not drawn any of my um, either of my retreats or hyperspace jumps just yet. So that's that's good here. Focus. He can now get the resources off. Oh, He had to work for it. He only has one boundless as well. Um, Alright, and now he's going to spend six on a planetary bombardment. Yep. Ow. Which does one indirect. And that is, that is a very, very scary die. And it's very unlikely uh, that he's going to hit nothing there. So, Alright. Alright. 
That's a lot of indirect. A lot of indirect. Ow. And chance cube. Okay. Now, um, of course, planetary bombardment was not something my opponent had got out in the other games. But he can definitely get one. But this guy definitely can get one out. All right. I got another quick draw with the DL44. That's interesting, considering I also have a hit and run. Um, but this really sucks. I haven't drawn for retreat or hyperspace. I've got 16 cards left. I might die this round, honestly. Um, I might need to do a DL44 overwrite to DL44. Uh, yeah, I might have to do that. And that scares me. That scares me very heavily. So my first action is going to be effectively the pass. I'm going to play the long, activate long-term planning, let him choose what he wants uh, to remove here. I will be able to remove two of his dice. Okay, he calls three and he's going to hit one of the DL44s. So that that's unfortunate for me. Uh, but I will be able to play the other at least. Uh, so yeah, let's uh, just quick draw out the other DL44. Uh, actually, do I want this on Mars? No, I I want this on Finn. Um, even though this would allow me to roll out Mars, do my focus shenanigans, and then do stuff. But I mean, I'm going to... I'm probably not going to kill anyone here. Um, oh yeah, I'll spend my three resources. Boop and boop. Alright, and um, we have a cocked die there, so I'm going to re-roll this. And it rolled the 3 for 1. Wow, okay. That's uh, a pretty amazing roll, actually. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. 9 uh, kills Thrawn. Am I okay with just killing Thrawn here? Yeah, I'll just kill Thrawn here. I'll just kill Thrawn. That, that seems good to me. Uh, so yeah, that was a god roll. Gotta, gotta love those god rolls. Uh, why am I putting them on the card? That just makes this so much more awkward when I've got a box select. Let's put them on the side here. Dark Ritual. He's going to revive him. Okay. Um, but... I mean, that's pretty much the best Dark Ritual he could have done because he's still got the Planetary Bombardment out and the Planetary Bombardment really, really fucking hurts. Like, he has... He can do 7, uh, 3... He can do 10, he can do 12 damage quite easily here, and um, I'm not sure I have 12 health. I have 13 health, so, you know, that's just worrying a little bit, just a little bit worrying. Uh, so I get double resource and a focus here, so let's, um, do I just focus the shield and take the shield here? Is this, is this what I do? I think this is what I do. I focus to the shield and take the shield. That's a four disrupt. Okay. Well, I'll take my one resource. Go ahead and disrupt me. Go ahead. Uh, yeah, two ranged. I will pass. Okay. He pull, pulls out the chance cube. So he's got plenty of rerolls. So, um. Now he has plenty of rerolls, but the most damage he can do, um. Yeah, okay, so he has more rerolls, so let's um, Frozen Waste and gets rid of the two indirect. I am okay with him focusing to the five here. He's very likely to hit that with five rerolls. Because um, he can't go for the six or seven because he doesn't have the resource to resolve it. Um, or unless he uses the arc, but then the arc's doing two anyway, so he might as well focus to the five. Uh, this limits, this, uh, limits the amount of damage uh, that's going to be taken by me uh, to just eight. Alright, so, I'm going to go to two there, um, so that was three, four, five, six, seven, uh, eight, yeah, we'll do eight there. We'll put Mars to one, I think Mars is safe here still, and uh, that mitigates damage, as much, that mitigates plenty of damage because Frozen Waste is really good. Alright, let's discard this X8 Sniper. I need to start drawing my hyperspace jumps and stuff. Alright, I get a hyperspace jump. Uh, so I can hit and run with Finn, potentially kill the Thrawn, and then hyperspace jump out of here. But if he calls a two, I. But if he, but if I don't kill him and he manages to call a three, I lose. 
So I sit and run the fin. And I get nothing. That's that's perfect. Um, this might just be worth half your days jumping, honestly. Um, like that is so nothing that it might just be worth hyperspace jumping. That is so nothing. I was at least hoping for like a full, like to be able to do six indirect or something. Let's, I'm just hyperspace jumping. That roll was so bad I got it. All right, and then let's discard the Rex's Blaster. Rex Blaster is good, but I just don't have the time to play it anymore. And draw five. All right, retreat. That's uh, good. Defensive positions as well. Don't have action sheeting this round, though, uh, and that scares me heavily. Uh, so let's roll out Finn. That way I don't use up my resource, so he still might call three instead of two. And we'll see how this goes. And that's also pretty bad, because I didn't get anything. And that gets him the chance to fall back. <sighs> okay, well, I'm keeping my DL44, obviously. And he's keeping his chance cube, obviously. Well, that's a problem. That is a problem. Well, let's roll out Mars then. And both of those are cocked dice. And that's a shield and a focus. So that's that's pretty terrible. Uh, do I resolve the shield? No, I'm just I'm just gonna pass to him. At least I get to defensive position here. Double focus. He's going to call three. He's not going to hit anything. Now I can retreat at this point, but considering I have defensive position... Well, if if he rolls out the Ark Starfighter, I can't really defensive position. Um, I can't with defensive position that because I need to wait for my turn. Well, I can, defense, I can do double defensive position if I need to. So let's, um, do I discard Rex's Blaster though? Because I need, I need the resources. I need the gun. I, I really need the gun. Let's discard the suppressive fire. Let's reroll these, these four and let's hope for some guns because I need to damage this guy. Three indirect. Well, that's something. I can do six indirect. He's going to probe. Uh, okay. And I lose both defensive positions. Okay. Uh, that's a real problem now because the planetary bombardment kills me effectively. Um, because I I can only survive if it rolls a four or a five. If it rolls six or a seven, I die. But I think I need to take the risk to do six indirect here. Oh, uh, that's risky. That is so risky. But I think I got to do the six indirect. I've got to I've got to just try and win. Alright, he rolls it out. Don't hit a five, 6 or a 7, and I survive. Hits a 4, I survive. Alright, retreat. Alright, I'm, I'm alive. I'm alive for this turn. Alright. There's my hyperspace jump, and there's a hit and run. And there's a holdout blaster. So I can hold out blaster, hit and run, and then hyperspace jump out. So let's... Because yeah, I have five resources, so let's hold out blaster for two. He only has one fall back. And then I'll hit and run with Finn. And reset that. Alright. And roll out. Alright, and um... He can still call the three with Thrawn and potentially kill me, but he's at... That's a nine, right? So nine and seven, so he's got five plus two. So um, this wins, right? Oh, that's a six? 
Oh. Whoops. That's a problem. Oh, that's a problem. Um. Yeah, because now I've got to try and kill him. <laughs> um, fuck. Alright, I think the best choice here is to rocket launcher. And then I can resolve the resource and resolve the rocket launcher to go for a kill here. Uh, I can use Finn to go for the finishing blow. Potentially. That's risky though. Um, if I get a focus with Mars though, that is also game. Um, so I can grand entrance actually on Mars here. And guarantee my focus for the game effectively. So let's grand entrance on Mars. One. Two. Uh, is two good enough here? Because uh, I focus to the three here, and then I focus to the three here, and then shoot the Thrawn. And then I've got two different dice to go for the kill. Yeah, okay. Um, it's better to actually focus this gun, I think, rather than this one, just in case. Focus to the two, yeah. Uh, so let's focus to the two and shoot Thrawn to kill him. Actually killing Snoke would have turned off overconfidence. Uh, which is the one thing that would have killed me. Yeah. Oh shit, no, he has one more hit point. Fuck. I'm... I miscounted your hit points. Da da da. Alright, um... If I'd focused this to the two... If I focus this to the three, that would have been game. Fuck. If I had focused to Finn's three, that was game. <sighs> Damn it. I can't survive this, so... Yeah, GG. So first, uh, I thought your Snoke was on 9 health, not 6. Because it turns out this mod rotates health <laughs> to face the player, player, not the opponent. To face the player. Then miscounted and thought Snoke had 10 health, not 11. Uh, okay, that sucks that I lost because of those two factors right there. That, that really sucks. That really, really sucks. Okay, but hey, you get to see that sort of nice red claim button. Uh, he's probably going to take his battlefield. Alright, so I'm one down now just from that, unfortunately. Uh, but lesson, lesson learned. Because I do not use uh, Elrond's mod enough to realize that those numbers were rotated towards me. Alright, so Mars's vault is great here. Don't need this, don't need this, don't need this. Yeah, if I had just focused the three indirect, I would have had one dice. If he had removed that dice, I would, be, I would have to do a reroll. But otherwise, I was in a really good position because that would have been two, two kills, one of them. And then leaves the other at one hit point. Um, and I just played that completely wrong. I don't even need I don't even need this hit and run. What am I doing? And uh, alright, I get very little again, but at least this is a gun. Uh, yeah, so what does he choose? I assume he's choosing his. Oh, it's me to choose. That's right. Well, I'm going to choose mine again. It's just good for me to have my battlefield. Alright, and I guess I start with a holdout. I don't need to quick draw. Uh, well, I'd like to be able to easy pickings. 
I'd like to be able to easy pickings quite a bit. Um, so let's just play the holdout blaster. Let's just play the holdout blaster. If what are the chances after all that um, he's going to draw double doubles, right? All right, not a not a terrible start. That is at least damage. He's going to doubt again. Doubt came out really well last time, and this time it's uh, still pretty good. Let's just shoot the Thrawn for two. Uh, and yeah, and then I'm just going to roll out Mars. Focus. Okay. Um, well, the focus could go to three indirect. I'd like to take the resource as well, though. Uh, at least that will cause him to call one. Um, so let's focus to the three indirect and then take a resource. And he calls one, so he's going to be able to get rid of um, my easy pickings. As one would expect. Unfortunately, this grand entrance is not going to be that useful this time around. Uh, but, yep, three indirect. I'm going to need to play Master's Vault, play the long-term planning, and then claim. So he's almost certainly going to get a Thrawn uh, double resource off of... Uh, a Thrawn resource from Snoke's ability off of this. Just gonna have to be uh, the double focus as well, so he can take like a ton of resources. That's that's scary. He's gonna have so many resources at the end of this, and then he's gonna probe away the grand entrance and the quick draw. All right, losing the quick draw is a problem because, of course, the um, action cheating is very important in this. But I'm gonna at least get rid of one of these, and honestly, to me, that's just he wasted an extra Snoke die. Well, no, he didn't waste an extra Snoke die because he's looking to try and uh, roll into d resources, it looks like here. In the hopes that he... That was greedy. That was really greedy. Roll into resources. That that feel, Yeah, that was a waste of a Snoke die, honestly. Oh, he's got planetary and I, upright. Oh my god, okay. A bombardment already is terrifying. Can't resolve that. Come on. Don't don't get to resolve it either turn. Please, 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 please. Whew. Dodged. Dodge, dodge, dodge. Because that is the card that loses me this this matchup. Right there. It's not even a vehicle, so I can't blow it up. Um So I guess I quick draw the X8. Uh that gives me the hit I still have a hyperspace jump potential, but he's probably gonna remove that. But I can roll in Finn, I can see what I get. Hopefully something good. Uh, not great. That is uh, that is definitely not great. Um, let's roll in the Mars. I can at least logistics stuff. So I don't have to worry about losing the resource too badly. Oof. That's pretty bad in terms of resources. Um, I guess I'm just going to do the three. Yeah, I'll just do the three to the throne. I mean, he gets one extra off of Dark Ritual as a result, but, you know. Okay, he's calling one again. Good, because I by using that two for one, he didn't think I had hyperspace. Uh, which is really good. Uh, and now I can logistics just fine, although that means I'm not re-rolling. But logistics is fine. Put me up to three so I can hyperspace jump if this gets scary. I'll have used up all my action cheating here, but I think re-rolling here is the correct choice considering that he just played a chance cube. And I get basically nothing off of it. Great. Well, I guess I should have long-term plan instead, because long-term plan is the guaranteed. And if he focuses to the double resource, I'm willing to let him have it. Oh, he's going to use Snoke to do a triple disrupt. That's a smart play, uh, because now I can't hyperspace jump. That sucks.
And planetary bombardment can be literally the last thing he does this round, so... Let's just take the resource on Maz, so that if he might use the disrupt. This is not going well for me. I, I read that and I read 9, not 6. That's a 4. I'm okay with him doing a 4 to me. Although he can do a, 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 re, a roll off chain. Um, and go to the 7. Because he can do up to 7. That's kind of ridiculous. And I can redirect one of it. But I mean, he's got rerolls available, so he was very likely to hit the 7 anyway. I, I can't handle two 7s. I just can't. Okay, well, now he's got three single focuses. <laughs> I could discard the high space jump to reroll with Finn, but I think it's just too much pressure to have as a possibility. Well, that's a double focus. Um, I can remove the double focus at this point, which he. But then he just all he does is lose a resource. Then because he still has the other Snoke die. Okay, so now that he does this, he can do this all at once. Uh, so I can't use Finn's ability. So using Finn's ability is kind of weak because it's it. It's a swing of two, but that die is a swing of two. So I'd rather claim the battlefield here. So seven. Ow. Now that's damage dealt to me. And he's still got four resources to do things with. We're gonna spend three of it. Okay. On a five TIE fighter. Just to see if he gets anything. And he gets the three for one. Of course he does. Well, it's a good thing I put Master Four. Ow. He just did ten damage this round. The Thrawn Snokes are not supposed to do 10 damage in two rounds, and I managed to dodge the um, first planetary bombardment completely, need I add. This particular round is just going very, very poorly. I might even have to dug in early here. Uh, yeah, because I didn't draw action key. I don't have action sheet. I was hoping to draw a retreat. I, I can't win this round. Like, this round specifically, I can't win. But if I grand entrance and threaten, like, 7 damage or something, I might have a chance. If my grand entrance can go to 2, oh, yeah, 2, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, if I can threaten to kill Thrawn, I might have a chance. I think that's what I've got to do. I've got to grand entrance this. Then if he removes this die, then at least I got something out of my um, hyperspace jump. Alright, one reroll. Two rolls. And it doesn't. Alright, so I'm not threatening to kill Thrawn here. Which sucks, because uh, I really need to threaten to kill Thrawn here. But he's going to remove one of my dice anyway. Uh, so that's really good for me. This means I can um, at least have got something out of the hyperspace jump if I decide to hyperspace jump here. Which is a pin down, which isn't great. It's just a pin down. But Thrawn Living kills me. That's, that's just the simplicity of it. Thrawn Living kills me. I've just got a hyperspace jump. I have just got a hyperspace jump. I needed that grand entrance to threaten lethal. Um, if it if it had me at if it had at six, then I could have killed the Thrawn. And there was a decent, there was a half decent chance I could have rolled six with just three of the four dice there. 
All right, that's my retreat. Um, does he know that my is my other hyperspace jump dead? My other hyperspace jump is not dead, so he's going to be calling three most probably here. Um, so I can x8 and then go for a rollout. That's not great. Rocket launcher does not discard planetary bombardment is one of my big problems here. This is a really, really hard fight to win. Oop, uh, I moved the fin by accident. That first round game was so mine as well. Ah. That's a really good roll. That's a really good roll. Let's re-roll that one. Okay, that's a really good roll. I can't afford all of it, but that's a really good roll. That is a thrown kill roll. I only have 9 health though, so I mean, with Snoke and Planetary, he can kill me this round still. If only none of these had been a cost side, then I could have easily gone in for a retreat play. I'm gonna call 1, okay. Well, I don't have anything for 1. With five resources, though, I'm really, really smelling a, um... I'm really smelling... a dark ritual here. But I've got to go for it? Well, hang on. Three, five, six, seven, eight, nine... 3, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. I have 13 damage here. If I can just resolve all of this. Uh, I have 15, actually, because of long-term planning. If I, if I am able to resolve all of this, how much damage is that? 15. Uh, and he has 6. 6 plus 9, he has 15. So if this rolls double resource, and I get to take both resources, that is kill. Otherwise, he gets to resolve this too. I think I need to roll at Mars. I think she needs to roll double resources here. She did not roll double resource. Okay, well then. Uh, hmm, okay. Well, the shields the shields will help with uh, the long-term plan here. Uh, I really, really needed to roll the resource, though. Um, okay, let's... Uh, do I resolve the free ones just for the sake of resolving free ones? I think I do. I'll resolve the free ones for the sake of resolving free ones. So I actually need a resource. I can spend a resource, turn an X8 to a resource, then I can use long-term planning to get three resources. That might be the play. Spend a resource to try and get two resources. That seems really dumb, but that might be the play. <laughs> I think that's actually the play. The alternative is doing four to the Snoke here. And that's not worth it. I'm going to pay one to put this to the resource side. Alright, full back comes in. That's fine by me-ish. I mean, not at all, but that's, that's what I'll have to do. Because this is going to give me the three, res three resources uh, for a retreat play. Or do I take two resources with logistics and then potentially still have long-term planning available as an option? I think keeping long-term planning available as an option is worth it. Okay, probe. Come on, don't do me dirty. It didn't do me dirty. It did not do me dirty. Okay, cool. Alright, that's perfect. Because now I can long-term planning and shoot for three. 
and then retreat. Uh, playing with fire a little bit, but even a seven won't kill me here. So let's long term planning and shoot Snoke for three. Okay, that was playing with fire heavily because now I'm going to take six for basically nothing. Um, but I can at least take a shield for it. Take a shield, Snoke rolls out. Um, and gets another indirect though. Then I'm going to be in huge trouble. I should not have played with fire. Uh, I should have just taken the retreat as it was available to me there. But I need to do everything I can with this stuff. Do I predict he's not going to roll a two indirect? I think I've got to go greedy. I've just got to take these risks, unfortunately. Oop. In these uh, in these really close games like this. Now, the first order TIE Fighter doesn't do anything for him because he's only going to get one action. He's going to roll out the chance cube. That surprises me. He doesn't get anything. Perfect. All right. Well, he gets the disrupt, so I'm forced to retreat now. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six. And now I will die to even a four. Alright, discard these. Do not want these. Alright, there's my other hyper there's my final hyperspace jump and retreat. He can't stop me here. Uh, if I roll out Maz first, I can kill Thrawn immediately. Um That seems good. Uh he can he can dark ritual him, but then he's not pulling a card out of my hand this turn. Um If he goes for a planetary immediately rollout, I can DL forty four, so let's roll out Mars. And just try for a kill. Alright, so I can focus to arranged and kill off Thrawn. He'll probably play Dark Ritual to heal for five. No, he won't. He'll roll out Snoke. Okay, he doesn't have Dark Ritual. Which surprises me heavily. Snoke gives him basically nothing. Um, which is going to allow me to roll out Finn. And Finn gives me one away from lethal. Of course he does. Okay, he's going to remove the die. It's good. Good by me. Good by me. Um, yeah, so I guess I... Do I long-term planning for three resources here? I think I do. I think I just long-term planning for three resources. He's used his probes, right? He's used both probes? He's used both probes. Yeah, so I can afford to do this. Let's long-term planning. Um, or do I put a long-term planning point on him? Uh, actually... Um, hmm, 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 hmm. Uh, do I take the resources? Do I take the long-term planning point? Uh, what's the rest of my deck? That one extra damage might be crucial... I've already used both grand entrances. I've used one hit and run. I've used both quick draws. This long-term plan point might just be too crucial. I'm going to put a point on it. Or disrupt. I mean, if you if you resolve that as disrupt, uh, I'm still probably going to die. So um, I can afford to retreat here, but then he can claim. Um, and then that would allow him to start, and that would be terrifying. Uh, so yeah, let's just hyperspace jump out. I can afford to overwrite the DL44 here. So I'm going... But I, I need the action sheet. Because 
If he draws Dark Ritual here, it's game over. All right, I drew a Holdout Blaster. I can hit Holdout Blaster, hit and run, and go for a kill. So let's do it. Let's hold out Blaster for two. Then let's play my last hit and run. Come on, God roll. I hit a three. Um, that allows me to do five to Snoke. That doesn't kill. Five does not kill. Five does not kill, damn it. If I roll at Mars, I can do two and take the resource and so I can still retreat. Let's roll at Mars. Let's not long term planning this. So I can turn to the three, actually. Um, well. Um, actually, so, wait, 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 so, I have four, plus six, plus, four plus six is ten, he's gonna be on six, plus six, he's gonna be on twelve, god damn it, so double focus here doesn't work, wait, if I go to the three and this two, then that's five, plus six, that's kill, that uses up that resource that I was planning on using for, you know, the win, for retreat. Uh, mm. Mm. So hard. If he has a single piece of removal, a single piece of removal, uh, my plan backfires completely. I can't afford... He's more likely to have a removal than the resource here. So, let's take the resource. And then let's... Do I want to remove one? Do I want to do a fin here? Or do I want to do this fin? Or do I want to focus to threaten lethal next round if he doesn't have the dark? Um, if I go down to 7 here, then that puts me at 5. That is to survive against the 4. I can survive against 4 as it is. Uh, let's do a focus to the 3. If he doesn't have Dark Ritual, I, I win. Or, or removal, right. Because he can have plenty of removal. Okay. Alright, this is safe then. Five. He has the renewal. Okay. He had the renewal. Wait. Oh wait, I couldn't have killed him. Alright, I can kill Snoke here, and then he gets to roll out uh, of whether or not I retreat. Uh, I don't have any more action cheating. My last two cards are not going to be helpful at all here. It's kind of annoying I don't have this stuff on Mars. Um, I think I killed the Snoke. If I kill the Snoke, he's got nothing. If I kill the Snoke, he's got nothing, and I can do defensive positions. He'll have a four solution. Four solution might just win in the game, though. Okay, he's going to roll out that. He gets nothing on it, so now I can safely retreat. Now, he should claim here. He does. Okay. Because claiming gives him the first action, and I don't get to defensive position. But if he rolls out planetary first, I have a DL44 now. Oh my god. 
the DL44 is going to do it. The question is, do I overwrite or do I play it base? Do I overwrite or do I play it base? Um, yeah, I play base. His greed got him there, but he can still win. He can still win. But that was greedy of him. All right. Well, I get base sides. That's not great. I can't kill him with a long-term planning play. But he's he's hidden motiving. He's panicking. Like, this hidden motive really doesn't matter to me in the grand scheme of things, because I can roll out Mars and go for a focus play. Unless he has five removal, f removals in hand. Or maybe Mars doesn't get a focus. Alright, cool. Um, nah, that's great. I'm going to have two rerolls. He blanks though. Um, let's discard a defensive position and re-roll everything. I get a focus. I get ranged, so I have damage now. So how much removal does he have is now the question. If he has Force Illusion, he's safe, of course. Of course, if he has Force Illusion, I do the 5, and then I... Well, no, that doesn't work. I can't... Indirect doesn't help here. He discards to reroll. He's going to try for this Finn kill. Doesn't hit it. I mean, I don't have lethal here. If I use this as a triple focus, I can go to the three, the two, the three, the one, the two, and the three. Well, two, well, it would be two, two, three, uh, which is multiple ways of doing the kill. Which is resistant to a single point of removal. Um, right? That's true, right? Because I've got three. So I've got six. Six this way. Six this way. I think that's the correct play. So I go to three here. The two here. Leave that as a plus two and go to the two here, right? Because that's that's six, that's six. Yeah. Because I believe he only has one piece of removal. Phew, 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 phew. All right, game number three. Uh, this one, this video is really long, so I'm going to have to split this up into two part, guys. All right, this has been me, Gameslay99, aka No Brainer. Uh, join me for the thrilling conclusion, signing off.